The United States announced its intention to enhance the capabilities of the Ukrainian Air Force to better defend against Russian hostilities, according to Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin III. The initiative was revealed following the 16th meeting of the Ukraine Defense Contact Group in Brussels and is part of a broader effort involving multiple coalitions to strengthen Ukraine's military power. Austin specified that the U.S. will work closely with Ukraine and other coalition partners to focus on upgrading Ukraine's F-16 fighter jets. Denmark and the Netherlands have also committed to co-leading this initiative, aiming to bolster Ukraine's aerial defense capabilities. Both European nations had previously committed to providing Ukraine with F-16 aircraft, and Norway has now joined the effort to equip Ukrainian pilots with these advanced U.S. manufactured jets. The U.S. is actively participating in the training of Ukrainian pilots and air crews for the operation and maintenance of these fighters. Additionally, Belgium announced on the same day its intentions to deliver F-16s to Ukraine by 2025, as reported by air recognition on October 11, 2023. Austin also indicated that the U.S. plans to join additional coalitions in the coming months, focusing on various aspects of Ukraine's military capabilities, including air defense, armor, and artillery. This collective effort underscores the importance of American leadership and the need for continued, uninterrupted support to Ukraine, Austin added. The U.S. support for Ukraine has been consistent, as evidenced by over $43.9 billion in aid since Russia's invasion. This includes a recent $200 million security assistance package announced during the UDCG meeting. The latest aid package encompasses a range of air defense systems, along with supplementary artillery and rocket ammunition, precision-guided munitions, anti-tank weaponry, and counter-drone equipment. In this effort to strengthen Ukrainian air defense, it was announced that AIM-9M missiles would be sent to Ukraine. The AIM-9M Sidewinder is a version of the short-range air-to-air AIM-9 missile, originally designed in the United States and in service since 1956. Manufactured by companies like Raytheon, Ford Aerospace, and Laurel Corp., the missile weighs approximately 85 kilograms and measures nearly 3 meters long. It is equipped with a WDU-17-B annular blast fragmentation warhead weighing 94 kilograms. Its operational range varies from 10 to 35 kilometers, and it can reach speeds greater than Mach 2.5. The missile uses a Hercules-Burmite MK-36 solid-fuel engine and features an infrared guidance system, although some variants, like the AIM-9C, also use semi-active radar homing. The detonation mechanism is an infrared proximity fuse. In terms of cost, the latest versions are priced at around $400,000, with cheaper training versions available at approximately $210,000. Austin reaffirmed the U.S. commitment to defending Israel while addressing the situation in Brussels. Israel, like any other country, has the right and the obligation to defend itself, he stated, adding that the U.S. will continue to project power and allocate resources to address crises in multiple regions, standing firmly with Israel and Ukraine.